Sixers internet, hello. Welcome back to another local Chicago food review. Today, Diagostino's Pizza. There's a bunch of them. We're going to the one on Ogden in West Town. Tavern style pizza. Trying to find some of the best in the city. Keeping it going. Yeah, we also want to do a Patreon shout out for Scott Hinden who donated $10 a month. Uh, recently jumped on the wagon. We appreciate that, Scott. If you guys want to be like Scott and help support the channel, uh, go over to patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. You'll get early content and uh, a couple other cool perks. Just check about the uh, check out the different tiers. Scott, we love you. Here comes an episode pizza day. Let's go. There's six locations of these. Uh, excited for this. Diagostino's Pizza Acquired Jump Cut. Alrighty, they've been around since 68. Corey Wagner, second angle. Alright, look at that. That's tavern style. You're seeing some sausage, some pepperoni, some cheese, sauce to the tip of the crust, and a little table in the middle for the kids to play with. I'd say right off the bat, visually, it looks very basic. Like, this is nothing like that Nancy's one just looked so yeah, much better. Yeah, this looks like it's not going to be good. <laughs> yeah, that's just the harsher way of what I wanted like to say. like showing up for a Tinder date and being like, made a mistake. Oops. It's like I got an underbite. Okay. Um, ooh, good little cheese pull, though. This was fresh out of the oven. This was their first order of the day. There's nobody in there. Diagostinos. Corey, cheers. Cheers. Okay, it's probably pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty basic. It's not bad. Not great. Yeah, very in the middle. Like, it's just a party pizza. Put this out. That's fine. <laughs> like, I don't think you're going to... what? Like, I'm really confused by that. There's like a kitchen island involved, and you just throw a couple of these out for people to come by and snag. It's pizza for the party. I it's see. not. It's not a, a thing you're going to be like, you got to get this. Okay. That's... Confusing at first. Very, I hope I got there. Yeah, I, I'm always trying to like at parties put out the best of the best. You just go with mediocre. <laughs> yeah. okay, okay. I throw the worst parties. Mm, the <laughs> sausage is good, but not great. They didn't do the thing we see so much of like a lot of the thin sausage kind of all around it. It's big, uh, clumpier sausage, mm -hmm. which I don't necessarily mind. Like. It's nice to have a heaping boulder of sausage sometimes, but different than we've seen it. Mm -hmm. This is gonna sound stupid, but I'm gonna say it anyways for some reason. Their sauce is like very tomato-y. Okay. Like, sometimes you blend enough of the herbs and spices where it's all kind of works together. This like tastes like very tomato, like out of a can-ish. Like, I know it's not, I'm sure they have their own thing, but it just, it's very tomato forward. Rather than more stuff kind of mixed in, it feels like. You don't think this comes from a can? They can make their own, right? Like a Diagostino's pizza sauce? They could have surprised that you think that. I just, I feel like a place like this that's been around for so long has probably got a recipe really? or something. They got so many They're locations. They're just going to get fresh, fresh tomatoes for like six locations? <laughs> that's a good, the, the tomatoes themselves might be out of a can, you're right. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but the concoctions may be like a house blend. But yeah, I guess you, at some point you do probably start with just canned tomatoes. Yeah. You're probably not going out in Chicago and getting vine ripened no. tomatoes in the winter. I was thinking very specifically of pizza friendly pizza. Mm -hmm. And when we went there, there was a bunch of uh, their canned tomatoes were all like lined up on this wall. Yeah. So when you said that, my answer thought was, well, pizza friendly pizza, a place that has great pizza, yeah. uses canned tomatoes. I doubt they're out like got a farm behind this in Milwaukee <laughs> like and they're a, picking a, tomatoes. A mm. Let me clarify that it tastes only like the sauces, the tomatoes, and there's not a recipe of other stuff in it. They like literally ladled out the uh, tomatoes and that's the sauce. I see, I see, that's I see. Not, they're thinking, not making it their own. No, they're, it's like it literally just tastes like. Sometimes you get the tomatoes and then you add a little bit of this and you add a little bit of that and you think they're just like boom, boom. It feels like a grandma's recipe sometimes. Mm -hmm. It just kind of feels like, oh yeah, they got good tomatoes, but it, it's just a tomato sauce. Mm hmm I see what you're saying. Thank you for the clarification. I gotta keep getting there. I give a half-baked idea, and you help me fully put it in the yeah, oven. No. Uh-huh. Well, like, not Call me bad. the finisher, you know? I always, yeah. You always finish me off. Mm-hmm. This is, like, not a bad pizza. It's just, like, such a bar pie. Yeah, just why would you ever get this? This is a large. This is $26. Okay. That's about the price. I'm gonna do one more. The only time I've had D'Agostino's was, mm. uh, they have one like right next to or 
maybe even not connected to it. It's very close to Music Box. Okay, and Wrigley. Yeah, yeah. And Wrigley, mm, ish. I wouldn't call it Wrigley. They on the box did. That's more so why I jumped the gun. Okay, it's yeah. pretty far, because uh, Music Box on uh, Southport. Yeah, right by uh, Steingold's. Right by Steingold's. So mm -hmm. it's a bit of a, it's a little too west for me to consider it Wrigley, but yeah. we're getting into the weeds on that. Yeah, the, the neighborhood yeah. debate. Yeah, I know where you're talking about, though. Yeah. Lake, um, Lakeview. Either way, don't interrupt me ever again with your <laughs> dumb comments. Corey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, so my point is, I've had it outside a music box. I'm pretty sure they're open late. I don't know if this one is, but I've had it like after a midnight showing or something yeah, going and grabbing okay. a slice. And I was like, oh yeah, this is like okay for that. Right. But, I don't know, this is like not something I'd, I'd like seek out. No, I really wanted to check it off the list on um, our, our episodes because we've been doing a lot of these tavern style pizzas and I go by this place all the time and I never get it, I never really hear a lot of people talk about it, but it's been around so long, I was like, I'd like to knock it off the list. That's really mm -hmm. what it is for me. I am gonna, on this last slice, add some hotter six or Oh yeah, let me do that. As we've been seeing recently, it's just making food so much better. <laughs> by recently, I mean years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like that's a better sauce <clears throat> oh, man. than their pizza sauce. Yeah, like just use that as the base. Mm -hmm. That'd be a spicy one. Yeah, that's good. See, that's just better. Yeah. Now, do they call it a tavern sauce because we have to be drunk to like it? It must. I, I like that thought process, to be honest with you. It makes more sense. It's like seeing comedy with a couple beers, hooking up with somebody with a couple beers, eating this pizza with a couple beers, you're gonna always have a little bit more of a better time. I don't know what it is about you today that I wanna argue with everything you say. <laughs> Maybe that's just your mood. <laughs> Maybe, but also, I mean, have a little respect for your fiance. You have to have a couple beers to enjoy it. You make I was comedy, more so just trying have to a make... little respect for our comedy. You can see my comedy Stone Cold Sober and enjoy it. <laughs> like, I'm, what the hell? It was more the two beer minimum thing at comedy clubs. I was trying to relate it to that. Okay. That's where the, the, I feel like a lot of your allergies today are a little bit of a stretch for me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's just me. They're a stretch what, for me. I'm like, oh, everything you say, I'm like, God damn, you gotta argue this good again. <laughs> but I should be less harsh on you. Not everybody can be so pristine with their analogies as I am. And so braggad braggadocious about your own verbal, well, yeah, verbal dong. Yeah, you gotta have confidence, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I commend you for yeah. that. Absolutely. It's just like sitting next to me just makes you look so good, dude. Like, you're welcome. <laughs> what did I just tell you about confidence? <laughs> I, I don't want to listen to you. I've gone you're a beautiful man, Sean. I've you're gone, a beautiful man. No, I've gone 30 plus years of being self-deprecating. I'm not gonna switch no, now. This is point. the brand of me. That's My brand is my personality, and it's unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Anyways, give me that lid. There you go. Um, whatever. We we checked it off the list uh, on the number six with cheese docket, and I'm excited about that. Because you know what? I like the uh, archive of pizza episodes we've done. A little bit of confidence there. I like that. You like? You ever Keep been to? Up. You ever been to Wheeling? Where's Wheeling? <laughs> Niles. Don't yell at me, bro. <laughs> How is that famous thin crust? Is that like world's best cup of coffee thing? You just write world famous on yeah, it? Everyone does it, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, I've looked at probably 50 best Chicago pizza lists over the years, never seen them. Never seen them once, Who dude. did, and in 1984, did one person write an article about them and they were like, we're world famous. Yeah, which is just uh, I guess that's astonishing. Like I mean, yeah, just one time. Their mom probably told them, I don't know. We're the world's best YouTube channel. My mom thinks so, so we, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna cite the quote. All right, guys, don't don't forget to uh, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more uh, just two dudes getting along so well and appreciating each other's analogies subscribe to the channel like the video guys what's the most mediocre food in your town let's put them on blast this is a blast let's, day it's a it's the I've blast been putting zone. Sean on blast all day yeah dude let's put let's put your local restaurants on blast he's at laser tag right now dude just yeah. absolutely blast zone uh, what's the most mediocre let us know all right time to rate it We've had a lot of pizzas on the show. We've had a lot of tavern styles out of five. Dude, this is the last name of Jeffrey D'Agostino. And I, I think Alaska's he, own. I think he could make a better pizza. Uh, out of five Alaskas, so too. how many Alaskas do you give the D'Agostino's world famous $26 two topping tavern style pizza, Corey? Uh, super average, don't get that. Um, nothing about it was anything better than okay. Uh, I'm gonna give it a 2.5. I don't think, that's just such a spot on review. Like that's exactly what it is. Like this is, if you're for some reason stranded over here and your legs don't work because around the corner is a, pie eyed pizza. Yeah, I was gonna say a great spot. <laughs> I'm not gonna say that the Subway two doors down has just as good of a, like a, pe it, it, like the meatball sub might even more satiate and save you a lot yeah. of money. But uh, I don't, dude, I like that score. Not good, not bad, just right in the middle, 2.5.
I think that's that's exactly what the score should be. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Thanks for rocking with us. Wednesdays and Thursdays on the show traditionally are local food reviews. So uh, come on back. We'll see you soon. Thanks for rocking with us. Goodbye.